<laughs> oh, a couple sick ones out there, boys. Game on, let's go! Good morning, Dub Nation. Welcome to a windy morning here in New Jersey where we are gonna go see if a sleeping beast has awakened. We're down here at El Slamo and it kinda looks like there might be some potential. Let's go check it out. I'm not sitting up here saying that there's a lot of glory involved with this line of work because this is heavy going out here right now in these conditions. This is not a glory filled scenario, but I have a feeling I might get a couple sick ones out there, boys. <laughs> it's freezing. Let's go. Everything that that session wasn't, I can say that it showed a lot of potential for El Slamo moving forward. So hopefully we get to see a couple more days where El Slamo really starts to wake up. That was kind of just like first swell of the season out there. Got a couple waves. El Slamo for the dream. She's back, baby. She's back. <laughs> I don't know if she's back, but that was kind of fun. I actually got a little barrel. I don't know what this camera got on film, but I kind of got barrel. So stoked. So it didn't come together perfectly. Kind of hard to find that stud. But uh, it came together and that's all that matters for the dream. All right, Nub Nation, we are in the car right now. This past summer, towards the end of the summer, a friend of mine, I've talked about this, a friend of mine named Jason, Jason Kaharik, had a major brain injury. It was really, really serious. He's been recovering ever since but it's been a really, really long process for him, and I'm sure just a complete and total struggle mentally and physically. He's regaining a lot, and he's, he's making a really good recovery, and he's making a good push, but he is slowly but surely just pushing forward towards his goal of recovering from this head injury. From what I understand, he was really, really messed up from it, and he is lucky to be alive and lucky to be where he is today. So today, we are going to visit him at his home and say what's up to him and hopefully raise his spirits and make him happy, make him smile, because I haven't seen him since the summer. I haven't seen him since before he got injured. So hopefully, hopefully we can do a positive thing here and uh, do some good for the world. So let's go check it out. What are we doing here, Bob? We're gonna go say hello to Jason Kaharik today. Uh, he's a good friend of my uh, 
part of our surf group and one of my best friend's sons who was unfortunately injured in a freak accident and we're gonna stop by and uh, bring a pizza and bring him some love sounds good dude let's do it do it on we're on baby let's roll a little primo pizza always always sets the mood right a little primo hi patty how are you is he home yet is he home <laughs> Or do you surprise you guys? I love surprises. Hi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hi. How are you? Come on in. Bro. Hey, what up? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How's it going? Hi, ladies. Yeah, I'm like so bad. I'm like, man. I don't want to show off. In the Philippine <laughs> bag. Boy. Get him, buddy. Yeah, that's cool. Good for him, buddy. That was good. <laughs> American Idol. I made this table. I heard. Bang, Bang gravy. Made his house. <laughs> gravy bang. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I met Jason a couple years ago when uh, he brought his um, his Alaya surfboard over for me to try out. Him and his dad made it, handmade it. Um, so epic family, and uh, I'm glad you're doing good, Jason. Stoked to see your progress, and everybody send Jason some warm messages in the comment section. Send him some love, and uh, just give him some enthusiasm and and some stoke to uh, keep improving. And uh, Jason, we're excited to see you back on a surfboard sooner than later. So God bless and keep the dream moving forward. Scale from one to 10. Eight. You get eight gnarly? That's an eight, probably solid. You're not going 10 today? No, not 10, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time ever surfing in Elias, so I'm really stoked. We got some little concaves in the back there. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but that's all I got for fins. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're not ready for that rock footage. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm out there. Wish me luck. We got Skeleton Bay going under the dock. It's kind of... Oh yeah. I love the names of the spots. <laughs> bro! Oh! Dude! Dude! Yo, dude, locals only, bro. Yo, chill, chill. Look at this, dude! Going wide! Look at this! Oh my! 
Dude, I'm claiming I'm straight gonna surf El Slamo for a minute though. It's kinda sick like Dude, the novelty sesh is on right now, dude. What are you, a pro wrestler? No sir. I thought you were. Retired. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Grom? Yarn, I'm ready, dude. Dude, my new filmer lives less than a block from me. <laughs> Neighbors, man. And it took him an hour to come to my house. Oh uh, what? Because he was <laughs> 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 Yeah, I got my I got my <laughs> don't, don't don't say anything like that. Oh my god! Look at this! All right, I'm not wasting any more time. Sesh is on. What's going on here? What's going on is I have some Gettysburg friends that think uh, you're supposed to wear boxes underneath your wetsuit. Can you can you put a claim on this, Ben? Salenza. Do you wear boxers? What? Yo, do you wear boxers under your wetsuit? No, dude. Oh, you don't. Boxers under my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't wear boxers under my wetsuit either. Sorry, boys. Claim was made. The claim was made, <laughs> but however, you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? We're about to go surf uh, Echo High Waves. So, like, if, if I'm surfing these waves, you can surely wear boxers underneath uh, your wetsuit. We're out there. <laughs> off the top another one off the top what's the claim you having fun dude it's pumping out here we're waiting on uh El Slamo to start picking up we need the tide to come in a little bit skeleton bay has been rifling the lens is about to be on a burner you burner look at this guy rock boy dude <laughs>
Oh. All right, we saw some dreamers out in the middle of the bay. We're kind of taking a break from slam and letting the tide come in. There's another one. It's always bigger than it looks, boys. And pretty much my goal right now is just to get Salenza to paddle out into the middle of the bay. Look at the next one. Holy f Brian. Breaking. Oh, oh my shit. God. <laughs> that wave was three feet. That was, that was a that three was foot scary. wave. We're out there. That's it's real. on. We're out there. On it. <laughs> What was that, like a quarter mile long wave? Been out there. Yeah. All right, we just scored the middle of the bay. The tide is pretty high now. Final mission to nail El Slamo. How do you feel, Salenza? I'm cooked. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are getting a workout today, dude. But we're on, dude. Game on. Let's go. Mackie! <laughs>
Cub Nation, I am now tired and sunburnt and stoked. El Slamo might be back. We saw some very promising action on that sandbar today. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the stoke. I've been having a lot of fun with the vlog recently, and that is an exciting thing. So thank you guys very much. I'm sitting in my new bed, which I will show you guys the complete renovation of what's going on upstairs in the next vlog. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you for all the stoke. It's been an amazing journey. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you next vlog. For the dream.